Okay. Okay. What? Okay. What? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay. We're here right now for 10 minutes with Tamara. This is a special edition. It's a special edition of 10 minutes mm -hmm. with Tamara because this is the reason I do everything I do. This is In addition to the other brother, brothers. And the other brothers. Yeah. This is my son. His name is David Benjamin Rubin and he goes by Avi. Avi is David with the D's dropped off the sides. So um, that's A-V-I and Avi is the reason I do what I do. Avi was acutely lead poisoned when he was seven months old. Yes. He had a blood level of 16. He now has um, a brain injury with a visual memory in the fourth percentile, but he's also one of the smartest people I know. So I thought it'd be fun for you folks to get to know him a little bit. He wants to get a degree in astrophysics and his dream right now, one of his dreams is to meet Neil deGrasse Tyson, right? I well, mean, I mean, I would love, I have some really good questions that I would want to ask. So the thing I thought it would be fun to talk about today in 10 minutes with Tamara with mm -hmm. you, Avi, um, <laughs> is, I thought you could tell me about, or, you know, talk about what we were talking about earlier today on our walk. We were, we were going on a walk in the forest here in Maine. And on our walk, we were talking about the scariness of Halloween and how, what makes Halloween scary and what makes Halloween decoration scary. And then Avi had his own take on that. You want to talk about oh, what, that? Oh, yeah. you mean about how, I, I guess I think you're referring to the fact that I said that because I've been growing up with mom... Tamara as mom, and I feel like this would happen to anyone who has that. It, I just have a built-in sense of what is like, oh, that's a lead hazard. And it's funny, because like when I was in school, I would be around people and they would see, oh, look, it's an old house. How, you know, they really love that look, the antique look. And I'm like, it's just horrifying to me. Just internally, I, I, that's the first reaction I always have. And I was thinking about how it's funny because when I was younger, I would think that like there were horror movies where they'd have like an old haunted house. And it's like just the old part is enough for me that it's like I would think, oh, that's scary for everyone. But apparently, yeah, because that's why they, they always have more to it and because it needs to have other problems as well for most people to find it scary. Which like is, ghosts and monsters yeah. and stuff, not just like paint. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> you wouldn't want to be even going in a place like that because it's like, yeah. Right now, based on what's on your mm -hmm. mind these days, what is the impact of you being lead poisoned as a baby for you and how you're experiencing the world and things that are going on for you right now? Yeah, for right now, like in terms of election and coronavirus stuff, uh, and yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Personally, the way that it's impacted me, um, I don't feel like I necessarily have uh, like serious problems on a day-to-day -day basis, but I, I have worked on things quite a lot. I, I have problems, definitely, but I've gotten better with them. But I have been having more kind of panic attacks lately. But yeah, it, it is very helpful that I've had people in my life who've given me the ability to uh, have self counseling, I guess you would call it, and be able to just calm myself down and think about things rationally. Yeah, I've been trying to do that. So you get stressed. Stuff. Yes, and more you have easily, I would say probably more but, easily because you because you were lead poisoned as a baby. Yeah, I mean, every, a lot of people my age are easily stressed out a lot, but I also feel like I. Yeah, I, 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 it also has to do with knowing th the facts of things. Knowing because you're that, smart yeah. about stuff. Yeah. If like... you know, like, like the fact that, I know that's better in Maine, but the fact that there are people shooting guns around here and lead particulates in the air from that, even if, you know, they, but they aren't using leaded bullets because Maine has stuff, yeah. They might be, I don't they, know. But yeah, you, people can break laws even if, and that's the problem because it contaminates the air and I don't, I don't want to go on walks in the forest because I don't want to be around that. And you know that's your OCD. Too. I know it is. And it's also, it's the same position I have on the coronavirus stuff where it's like, if you, if you stay away from all people, you have a zero chance. And if you only interact with one person, it's a, it's a small -er chance, but it's still not zero. It's a difference. Because yeah. if you interact with no people, 
it's 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 just it that prides me calm so i'd like i'd rather go to a park with no people than a park with one people even if it's a lot out of the way because i don't even have to think about it and with my ocd and lead poisoning brain injuries i can't not constantly be aware of everyone around me and everything they're doing and with current things becoming so political it's difficult because it's harder to just ask people to, you know, put on a mask or behave differently because people have more closely uh, uh, hold their opinions as what makes them themselves and they get really attached to them. And so if you, you know, ask someone to do something that goes against some opinion, they think you're asking them to do something that goes against who they are, which can escalate things, okay. which has been difficult. So this is Avi. Again, Avi, my son, who is 15, almost 16. He'll be 16 in January. What I was thinking is, especially for my readers, friends, fans, and followers who have lead poison children, I could maybe do some videos like this where we'd ask him a question and, and you send me a few your questions in advance of the video. We'll spend the time sharing those questions with Avi and getting his thoughts and feedback on what it's like to be a child or an almost an adult mm -hmm. growing up with the impacts of having been poisoned as a child and knowing mm -hmm. that you have disabilities and knowing that you're smart yet mm -hmm. the fact that you're smart can't balance out some of the impacts of the disabilities you have which is is I think his biggest challenge and I know that definitely at least for me it'd be really helpful to get some to know some people like me uh, I've met people with disabilities and I've you know I've been in classes with people but I haven't met too many people with exactly my kind of situation where they, their disabilities don't mean that they don't understand high, uh, complex issues. Yeah. Complex issues, but just that they have, uh, different ways of being able to express their understanding for that and, uh, learning things. Different ways of, of, of processing mm -hmm. the information yeah. as well. So, so Avi has a really high IQ, it's 131 point shy of Mensa, but he can't read anywhere near grade level. So what he does is he learns through alternate um, mm -hmm. methods, which is mostly things where he's listening mm -hmm. as well as mm -hmm. um, watching and not necessarily writing. And it does kind of, it's interesting because it does compensate in that even though I do necessarily, not necessarily read at grade level, I, because of my vocabulary and linguistic understanding and, um, focus that I have and, you know, passion that I have for education and learning, I end up, you know, in some cases being better than people who do have the ability to read at the high level. Better in terms of your level mm -hmm. of comprehension. Yes. And being able to, yeah, being able to elaborate on what I've learned and use that in my life. Okay, well, that's it for 10 Minutes with Tamara for today. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. We're going to um, be doing these hopefully every week or so or possibly more often. And I really appreciate that you took the time to watch. And please share these videos with your friends and family. We have the YouTube channel, but you can also see them under the 10 Minutes with Tamara tab on my website, leadsafemama.com, tamarubin.com. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye. Bye.